Hi everybody, welcome back to Project Happy Home. For those of you who are new here, I'm Tanya, a doctor, lawyer, turned homeschool mom of three kids ages 10, 7, and 5. In today's video, we'll be reviewing the Universal 4 Kit by Fisher Technic, which was sent to us in exchange for our honest review by Timberdoodle.com. If you haven't looked at Timberdoodle.com yet for your educational homeschool needs, I strongly recommend that you do so. It's an excellent website, not only for just getting an overview of what you might want to hit with your kids in every year of homeschooling, but also for some of the most fun and engaging activities you can do with them every year. One of the things I appreciate most about Timberdoodle.com is that they really do go through new products every year and they update their offerings to show you some of the best things that you can use in your homeschool to make it more engaging and fun. Several of the games that we use in our homeschool actually have come from Timberdoodle or have been suggested by Timberdoodle.com. So definitely give them a look. I will link them in the description box down below and here on the screen. Getting back to the Fisher Technic Universal 4 kit. I am going to ask my son questions about it here because he's the one who's actually used the kit that we received. So when you get the kit, this is about how large it is. So when you pull out the box, you actually have this very sturdy tray, it's like very sturdy, and it comes with all the different pieces bagged up in different sections. My son has already built one of the things, which we'll show you in a second. So when he builds with smaller pieces, I generally ask him to use a tray to hold all the, the little pieces, but he can easily store everything from this kit back in the original box. The box actually comes with over 500 pieces that can be used and reused to create over 40 different models. Now they send you this instruction booklet with it and it's not a booklet, it's like a book. So how many pages did we say it was? 197. 197 pages of just amazing model building pages. They are very well done. It's printed on really sturdy glossy paper and really well bound like a high quality magazine. And that is a pretty big instruction manual. Yes. It's the size of a regular book. Oh, I found the tires. Mm -hmm. Yeah, see, like where you see the picture at the beginning, those are the. the These first ones. look great. Mm -hmm. It actually looks super realistic. So it's an amazing book. Like this is the first thing that struck me when we opened it was just how detailed it was and how organized and how easy to read. Every single page is in color. So this kit is actually designed for children seven and above. And I'm going to ask our resident master builder, G10, whether he agrees that this kit would be appropriate for a seven-year-old. Actually, I think it should be like nine and above uh -huh. because of the way it works is there are many mechanisms in small pieces like Lego, but unlike Lego, they use lots of rubber uh -huh. and actual string, which is, makes it just hard to build. See, they have like some turns and weird pieces that are double-sided, uh, but for different things. They make everything more complicated. I would not be able to do this at 7 or 8. I think it should be 9 and above. And they have these like rubber yeah. components and stuff like They that. have a great variety of different types of shapes also that a little kid would have to differentiate between. So it's a lot more variety than, for example, in a Lego kit, right? So you'd have to really be careful about exactly what shape you're using for what build and things like that. Yeah, I agree with you. I think the complexity is a little bit much for the average seven-year-old. If you're a really amazing builder who's been doing complex builds um, previous to this, like complex Lego builds, I think that you might be more ready. But like he's a pretty master builder. Like he's been building since he was little, little, like since he was like three with Lego kits. And... I think that at seven, this would have been a little bit frustrating for you. You know, I think probably like at eight and a half or so, you would have been fine. One of the first things he built was this crane that you see pictured on the cover. I'll show you the actual one of that right now. It's the largest in the set. Mm -hmm. And we can barely fit it in at once in the, in the view. I thought it was really good. But you'll see like it turns. Can you show them how the crank thing works? Yeah, so it has this small crank with an actual safety lock on it. So you need, when you move it out of the way, you can turn it forward, lowering and lowering. But when you let go, now it's a click <laughs> mechanism. So now, if you don't want it to happen, now it can't go forward again and lower if you're picking up something heavy with it. Oh, that's neat. And then this moves too, like all the joints move, right? Yes, on this back crank, which actually turns... 
this way. So it's all mechanized motion, just like a real crank would be. So you so when the, the cable is loose, all of these joints are actually mechanized. So when he turns the, the crank there, he can have very controlled motion of the crane. It spins on 360 degrees here, and there's functional treads. So as you can see, you can roll across my hand like this. Like they're all individual pieces that he's had to assemble to create functional treads here. The treads actually in total are made out of 104 small black pieces under these and then 52 of these rubber parts because they their space takes up two. Mm -hmm. And he pointed out to me that there's actually a little place here where you could put in like a minifigure to sit and like be the operator or the controller. They actually use flat tile pieces. Mm -hmm. Yeah, to, to create the seating area. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's very like specialized pieces that function together in a way that makes it mechanically work. And if you get, what kit did you say can cooperate with this to make it actually mechanized? The, mo uh, the motor set XS and the motor set XM. Mm -hmm. This one uses the XS motor system where you will uh, take out the string and the entire crank mm -hmm. and then put a motor in and a new crank with no handle and it'll turn it by itself when you flip the on switch. That's amazing. We should get that. If you had to rate this kit from a one to a five with five being like a terrible kit, no fun at all, super easy, like just didn't entertain you, to a five being amazing, I loved it, this is like an incredible build kit, where would you rank it? Five. Why? Because the way the set works is it just constantly is moving and with the motorized and LED set you can actually make these things come alive and work. Do you want the LED kit and the motor kit? Sure. I mean it would make these things come alive and work by itself. Mm -hmm. It'd be great for little stop motion movies. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that's a great idea that you could do stop motion movies with them, especially if you motorize them, right? And you don't have to mm -hmm. have your hand turning the crank. So I think that this is a great build kit, like overall. Like, would you want to see more of the um, Fisher Technic kits if we had a chance to get them? Not just the, the motor kit and the LED set, but like the other building kits? Yeah. How long do you think of playtime this kit would give you? Like, this took him about three days to build, not continuously, obviously, on regular homeschool days, you know, just like grabbing a couple hours and a couple hours and a couple hours. So maybe about five or six hours to build total, right? Yeah. This crane. So how long do you think, like, to build the 40 things? Like, how much time do you think it would give you? Like, at least, like, a month of playtime, you know, or more? I think more than that because a lot of them are the track mounted ones uh -huh. and like I said that's a hundred and four pieces and then 52 pieces on top of that yeah so overall like I was really impressed with the detail that was in this kit how many different ways the pieces could be combined I think it's a great building kit we definitely subscribe to the idea in this house that you know stem activities are educational that building activities teach you as much as like sitting there and learning about how a pivot works in a book like i think building a pivot or building a 360 degree structure talking about 360 degrees being in a circle as you illustrate how that works in a mechanical invention i think that teaches you so much more than just learning in a book would you agree yeah okay for sure. Thank you so much to G10, our resident building expert, for his expert opinion in this video. I could not have done this video without him because I know nothing about the building kits on my own. So I really do appreciate your expertise. Thank you for um, being our expert. Would you be willing to come back for further interviews if we have more building kits? Sure. Okay. So would you recommend that parents get this kit for their kids? Yes. It will provide a long, long time of creativity and fun. Okay, so you heard it here first. And thank you to TimberDoodle.com for sending us this kit for review. We really have enjoyed it, and we look forward to playing with it for hours and hours to come, especially during this quarantine season. So during this quarantine, I hope that all of you are staying safe and sound, and I wish you guys the very best day.